Hello everyone, this is Frenner's Lycon, here to continue a game of Surviving Mars, and we're a little bit off on our power. And by power, I totally mean water. So let's rebuild this. We don't have the technology but because it was destroyed. We do have that option. We also have Martian patents, almost research, and we have a rocket on Earth we can bring back with supplies. In fact, we almost have another rocket we can send back full of rare metals. Although we're not running this, so that was just a few extras. Looks pretty good, though. We did lose our rover, though. We don't need it right now. We have so much metals, and we've gotten most of the, what we want from the map. So I think we hold off on that. We are currently focusing on food with our potatoes. Ooh, our yeah, population is growing. Yeah, four kids now. We actually kind of need to think. Oh, never mind. We have a few open jobs here, at least one. But we do need to think of our second job, and it, it's probably going to be the extractor. Cold wave approaching. Cold wave's pretty easy to deal with. Let's turn the heater on. Research the complete. Oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Let's um pull back our Explorer. We're, I queued up the prefab. We might, depending on the cost of everything, we'll take a look. The archaeology in here is not that bad too, just it frees up. What is going on? Um, Right. To turn some things off at night. Uh, we also have to upgrade you. Okay, that should be fine. You can run at night too. Actually, I'll just turn you off at night. And we actually can run this at turn the night. We'll be perfectly balanced power lot wise. Cold wave comes in. Yep, we have plenty of power during the day. Nothing is being run in the cold ground at night. So we should be good there. And we can speed. Oh, we are. <laughs> Things are already going at max speed. Otherwise, we have a good supply of all the advanced resources. We don't have a lot of machine parts. Just a fuel refinery and our w large wind turbine. But if we do want more rare metals, we do have to spend some more. Yeah, this dome's actually producing kits now too, which is excellent. I just want to keep my eyes on kind of the unemployed. That's like kind of fake. Once this, the potatoes come in, we should be really good on food. We could even consider selling food for something. I don't, we're good on all the supplies that we could get food, like that our rivals would give us food for. Uh, and we do actually have enough money if we wanted to do the asteroid lander. Resources are low. Don't worry about it, it's, it's fine. But that would be a source of polymers and metals. Not We don't really need either of them. Cool. Uh, I guess we're going to... We don't have... We don't have any, any of these, so we are getting the nothing. Are low. We cannot make use of that celebrity because they cannot import them. We do have food. Fuel. Population is continuing to increase. And we actually might need a another living complex in here soon.
Nein. Finish whatever you need to finish. There we go. Are there any other planetaries we actually are interested in? Uh, we can't do the commander without the, um... I think we actually have enough people we could do the technologies. And there are a few we kind of want to see. So, for example, within our the physics tech, it would be kind of nice to get the scrubbers. That would actually help quite a bit. And we have all the parts we kind of need. We have enough electronics we brought in a long time ago. Anomaly analyzed. And I think it would open up. More to the Let's just take a look. Yeah, unfortunately this is lagging really far behind. Accumulator's not bad. Uh, it's cool that we've unlocked, or we can at least see the moisture farming. It's a lot of research though. We can take a look at the prefabs though once we get that option. And I think we're going to do the same thing for the drones. We'll have two drones left for all of this, but this, they, there's not a lot they need to do. Especially with the cold wave. Where we're dust storm, there's more maintenance happening on the outside buildings, even though we run less of them. Anomaly analyzed. Thank you. There's more to the back. More robotics. Yeah, all the uh, ones we don't really care about. Oh, we have unlocked pop <laughs> actually Martian copyright, right? So that's good. Get you landed. All of our jobs are being worked currently. Okay. Hmm. Let's... Okay, that's a little scary. Let's actually launch the rocket. And let's, um... We'll actually go for this one. It's really, really risky for us. Worst case scenario, though, we do have enough money. That we could, um... Bring in... Another commander, if we, if we lost it. Losing the rocket would also be pretty awful, but... We actually might not make it. Uh, we can run you at night. Research complete. Run you at night. Cool. <laughs> Although if we waited just a little bit longer, we could have checked the prefabs. I wonder if we can do that with supply pods. Oh, we can. <laughs> School Spire is a billion. Uh, so it looks like they're all billion plus. Oh my goodness. Archaeology is very expensive. I think Gardens looks like the cheapest one, but it's also one of the worst ones to put in a small dome. Well, we probably won't be doing that. We kind of have the money for it, but it's it's a lot of money. Uh, we do actually have an unemployed person. Hmm, we're gonna have a dust storm next, huh? I think we just have a unemployed person. Oh, we have two now. Uh, I think we suck it up and we, um... We do a little bit of rare metals mining. Might take them a moment to all kind of re figure out the job situation. You're doing okay. We have multiple rivals now going for the same anomaly. Wow, 
one soul. We get 12 fuel. How much more do we need? Uh, it looks like we won't quite make it, though. That's unfortunate. We still have one very confused person. Housing. We only actually have one housing left. It looks like we have more because it's counting the... Alright, we can land you. They're all going for that one, huh? Uh, it's counting the nursery. Uh, so we actually do need to get that in. We'll do that now. We definitely don't want any homeless people. Oh gosh, please do not refill that one. No, no, no. Please put all the fuel- stop. Drones. Okay, well, we lost it. Uh, it's probably for the best. It was a very risky thing to do. So I think what we're going to end up doing is we'll switch these kind of out. We'll have this one grab up all the rare metals. And we'll send it back to Earth with a full load of rare metals. And we can speed things up. Five more. So like two more souls and we'll have it back. And we made it to day or soul 250. We've only used a hundred of these rare metals too, so we still have plenty of resources there. Kind of homeless person, you need to uh, you need to move out. I only have youth in here. Okay. They kick out an adult. We actually just have too many youth. You please uh please go and move into the other dome, please. Ooh. Oh no, no I, I, I keep. I was looking at the uh, that backwards. They were giving food for electronics. If it was the other way, that would have been pretty interesting. All right, this rocket's ready. Off you go. Food is doing amazing. Definitely don't need metals. We're again up there, we're getting actually close to 40 people. We only have one more job opening available. We have older people in the stone, but that doesn't seem to be true within, uh, into this one. So we're, we're pretty good there. Now, we could think about another dome. And if I did this a little bit better, we could actually move this rocket, some of these deposits, and have it here. We're not going to have any good connections 
and we really want to do it this one and into this section, which isn't isn't really feasible. Uh, but we we could switch this. Actually, wait, we flatten things out. Oh, we could do it this way, and this is actually I think how we were planning on doing it, or I was in, in the very far future. But in theory, we have one here and a harder one there. So let's um let's actually start kind of uh, getting that ready. We can flatten the surface. Uh, let's increase the brush size just a tad. Funding received. Dust storm. Okay, that's fine. We are really good on money right now. We could actually think about uh, bringing in. Actually, so our problem to expand is actually going to be water. So we can either put this and wait until we get that done, which is an option. Not a good option, but it is one. Because we have like tons and tons of polymers for it. How expensive are they with the inflation going on? Each one is, we can't buy that many actually. Hmm. We'll hold off for now. There's nothing we really need. We'll put this as low priority. Ooh, did I? I we're turning you off. We're turning you off. Solar panels. Okay, that's good. A very long electrostatic dust storm again. You can even remove one of these and start. We probably won't end up putting a dome here, but it is an option, and we are going to need a lot of space for farms to do our mystery, which is something we're going to want to start looking at as our population ingr uh, grows. Because I expect we'll end at like 40, or very, very close. I mean, we are close, but we might even be slightly above it at the end of this episode. One other option to help kind of um, free up more space for farms and stuff was we could put in apartments. They're a lot less comfortable, and that's where most of our comfort's coming from, is our housing. But they do allow a lot more people to live in our domes, and they allow us to do kind of more internal things. Um, and more importantly, they allow us to do that without increasing our water demand of another dome. Resources are low. Uh oh, have we not been? We have enough water, it looks like. I'm glad we have so many water towers. I think I, I also have the compression tech. Yeah, storage compression tech queued up. I think after that, I do have apartments just in case we go that way. Heck, what's the. um? So it still makes sense to. Oh, it's only five. Hmm. We could do that up for now. I really want the scrubbers, truth be told. Are there any cheap techs we have? That we can just grab? Yeah, I think that makes more sense. I'll put the moisture farming further down. All of our jobs are currently being worked. Off you go, or Explorer. Okay. So right here would work. Research complete. Excellent. Now we can store way, way more water and oxygen. That's excellent. Let's bring our explorer back so nothing bad happens to them. Uh if we move you like here. Just can't hit the uh, this this pad, which we kind of want to move anyways. So this one also already has a rocket or a drone, I should say. So we'll tell it to pick up rare metals, and it will be one we send back to Earth.
Let's also just get a dumping site. And how far do you reach? So if I put it like right over there, it should be kind of out of the way. Cannot do that. Hmm. Well, we could do it up here then. Water. Oh. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Let's, uh, yep, we need to turn these on. Not paying attention. Uh, I also need my solar panels on, too. Okay, we have water now. <laughs> Very important. Uh, we'll let we'll let our tanks build up just just for a little bit, and then we'll turn on the fuel refinery. Yeah, let's move you up a little more. We're at 40. I think we'll leave it here. Uh, we're doing we're doing pretty well. I will actually have to start thinking of either putting in another dome, which is a good is a good possibility, and or we'll probably expand our rare metal extractor. But without further ado, this is Fernie Slycon, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.